Hey, my friend, it's George Ira Carroll. So I wanted to do a quick video that was inspired by one of my mastermind groups today, and the concept is called Sleight of Mind. Now, if you're familiar with card tricks and magic tricks, something that they use, a technique that they use to, to sort of confuse or divert the observers is called Sleight of Hand. Well, there's something that showed up in our conversation in our mastermind that got me really thinking about how powerful this sleight of hand is. So, for example, um, when a magician or a card trickster is doing some kind of work, basically, they've got the magic going on here, right? They're doing shifting and changing here, but then they'll show you this hand and say, hey, check this out. Boom, right? And this sleight of hand get, grabs your attention while they do the trickery here and all of a sudden out pops something that wasn't there in the first place. So this sleight of hand concept works and it's really powerful because it moves the observer's attention away from what's really happening. Now my friend, the interesting question I have for you is, do you have sleight of mind? So a sleight of mind in its in its essence, if you will, is parts of your mind that divert your attention away from what's really happening over here to avoid something. So what slights of mind might you have in place in your life that's keeping you away from really harnessing in the magic of life itself? And another good question is, how do we know we have a slight of mind? Think about it this way. Do you have what I call avoidance patterns? These avoidance patterns are things that show up in your life when you're really starting to get into moving through, breaking through specific and certain resistance that you have in your life. So for example, anytime you're expanding and you're growing and you're focusing your attention in a way that allows you to build a really kick-ass life, what happens is, is that your mind will go into an avoidance pattern, meaning it will find something that's more comfortable than the, the change and the growth that's happening in your life. So for example, maybe you go to food as an avoidance pattern or as a slight of mind. You know, maybe you go to sex as an avoidance pattern or a slight of mind. You know, maybe you go to um, wandering Facebook endlessly as a slight of mind. Maybe you watch TV as a slight of mind. You know, maybe you, um, you get on at what Andy Dooley, my good friend Andy Dooley calls the bitch train as you go into slight of mind. So there's a lot of things that that happen as a result of our unconscious patterns going off and confusing us and diverting our attention from what we really want to create, which is the magic of life. So my friend, the question I have for you is, what slight of mind are you currently operating from that isn't allowing you to be totally present to the magic that's right in front of you? That's it. All right, my friends, take good care. I'll see you on the next video and remember, if life were an adventure, what would you choose? I'll see you soon.